This is a standard form-based application using an access database as a, as a backend. And so this creates a user interface. And you can see here uh, different things that you can select. But when you select input, here it's going to open up another form, basically, that's going to give us access. Here are all those menu options that you saw on the previous screen. And it's going to give us access to data. And while building this, you have to use reports and forms and queries and things of that nature. One of the challenges when building it is implementing a report or adding a report to be displayed within your menu structure, this right here that you've already developed for the rest of the user interface. It gets a little tricky sometimes. And here is a tip when you can't get the margins to be reduced. And, and let me just show you the problem and then we'll go ahead and fix the problem as well. So here's the problem. I selected here building standards interview and notice here that we have margin, a white margin. It doesn't look right, right? We want it to be completely blue. There's other problems. We've got some blank space over here which can be easily remediated. But this right here is what we're talking about, this margin right here. So how do you get rid of that little bit of margin when you're trying to display a report in the same area? So on the screen, you'll see the report itself and the format, and there's that little problem, right? So to, to fix that problem, it's really pretty straightforward. We can just drag this out over there and, and then move that button over as well. So that's a pretty easy fix, right? So, but, and we can do the same thing for all of these as well, right? Becomes pretty easy just to move, move the data over. And then when we see this report next time, um, it should be it should be squared away. Whoops, the daisy. All right, and then if you did what I just did, you can just go back and push that margin back in again, and everything should appear um, like you want it to. So, so this is all good, no problem there. But we want to go into the the property sheet, and we want to go into the detail section. Excuse me, we want to go into uh, the the report section of the property sheet and then we want to find a um, setting in here I always find it easier just to sort here uh, by A to Z and you can do that up there and if you see here because we did sort it and it sorts it alphabetically right here show margin pages that's a yes no so if we turn that to no what you're gonna see now is that that margin that we had before on the screen is disappeared so let's go ahead and we're just gonna save this bad boy out and then we're gonna go ahead and open up that form again with the report associated with it and see if our fix worked all right so we're gonna go back to this form here and we're gonna click remember this is that report we're gonna click on it now notice that there is no margin right it's pushed itself up and then those adjustments that we made to this table as well have moved out as well so we still have some formatting issues here that we have to deal with as far as size and things of that nature but generally speaking uh, the form seems to be and report seems to be doing exactly what we asked it to do